happy Friday afternoon here. Usually I do my videos earlier, but it's just been slammed today. But I just want to get this information out because it's come up a couple of times today already. Um, obviously, sales price matters, right? Because when the time you know when the time comes, you're trying to build that equity immediately when you purchase a you know you know house at that point. So when it comes time to sell, you have enough equity inside the house to make it meaningful. Okay, especially with with properties going up and up and up like they're doing right now. So. But when it comes to payments, a lot of times there's so many other factors, actually most of the time, there's so many other factors that play into it, okay? Play into your payment uh, that make a big difference. So for an example, we had a client uh, basically that, that was looking to buy a house a couple months ago. It fell through and now they're buying this other house. And unfortunately, we can't go FHA on this, so we have to go conventional. And in this way, in this one, we would like to go FHA on this one, but uh, you know, to, for them to get the offer, they had to go conventional. Okay. Now with conventional, there's different price, you know, criteria on credit scores as you go down. So let's say from 720 to 700, 700, to 680, 680, 660, there's different, you know, price adjustments to it. So we have to go conventional on this one. And basically, you know, his scores in somewhere in the middle to upper 600s, which isn't bad. Okay. But basically if it was FHA, it would be a much better rate uh, even though you got different factors on it and so forth. But the factors that play into it on this property that he's buying now that he, compared to the one that he tried buying two months ago is taxes. Uh, taxes play into it big time. The other thing that plays into it is, is the PMI. So with FHA, when you do 3.5% down, it's 0.85 pretty much across the board. Unless you do 5% down, then it goes down to 0.8%. So having that, you know, basically, you know, that difference because... With conventional, not only on the interest rates, there's adjustments from 720 to 700 and all the way down, like I just said, there's adjustments on PMI, okay? So the PMI goes up because the score is below 680 compared to going FHA, okay? So, uh, and the house that he's buying now is $10,000 less than what he was buying before, okay? But his payment's higher, okay? So, you know, this is the thing where when people say, well, you know, I'm buying something lower, it's, my payment should be lower. You know, in different states, it's, it's a different ballgame. I'm licensed in 14 states. Florida is, is a perfect example of this, okay? Because you could be living on the same street with somebody else and buy a house that's $50,000, $25,000 less than the house next door, okay? But your payment's higher because the taxes on the records are much higher until you file a homestead and so forth. Or, you know, sometimes that, that helps, obviously, when you file a homestead, but at the same time, maybe when they bought the house next to you, the taxes were way low 10 years ago. So there's so many other factors that play into it. It's not just sales price. You got to really dig deep and get the details of, okay, what's the taxes? Are we going FHA? Are we going conventional? What's your credit score? And this and that. This all plays into it. That's why it's so important when somebody's ready to buy a house or when we get the contract, we sit down with clients or send them a video breaking down everything to show them basically, hey, you know, here's FHA, here's conventional, here's the positives, here's the negatives on it, and there's pluses and minuses on both of them, uh, and so forth. So everything plays into that. It's not just about sales price or down payment. You know, down payment, you know, there, you know, I say this time and time again, okay, and, and most people look at me kind of, you know, kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of glazed over, but every thousand dollars only change your payment five bucks. So if you go up or down, change the payment five bucks. A lot of times it pays a lot better for you to pay down that credit card, um, and, you know, and basically save that money per month and, and throw it towards a mortgage or throw it towards savings, whatever. But you know, there's certain things that people have this in their mindset. Well, you know, my sales price is much lower, and this and that. You know, why is this compared to this? There's so many other factors that play into your payment per month that people don't consider. So anyway, this came up today, so I just want to get this out to you. It's Friday. Everybody have a great day. If you've got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great, great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.